kids. Ah. Don't know where all this comes from. I think Emily must have got through at least half a dozen outfits a day during the holiday. Never mind, love. You can have a bit of a breather once they're back at school. <laughs> Roll on Monday. I've let Matthew talk me into taking him to some sort of open day at the fire station. Oh, do you know, I've always had a thing about fire bobbies. Lovely fit young fellas. <laughs> Why don't you come with us? You might find one you fancy. Oh, I don't think so, love. Ooh, I couldn't be doing with a younger fella. I have enough trouble with the older ones. <laughs> no, I'll just stay here and give this place a good doing. Make it nice for the weekend. Any coffee? Huh? Now, you get yourself settled on the couch, love, and I'll bring you on in. But Julia, I'm fine. You can't be too careful, you know, love. I had an auntie who lost a finger through knitting with a septic wicklow. I'm not about to lose anything, except perhaps my livelihood, if I don't get off to work. Oh, well, as long as you're sure, love. Honestly, I'm quite sure. Well, don't go overdoing it, Max. Tonight's a very special occasion. Is it? Mmm. I've been waiting ages for it. Ah, oh, no. See, I don't think... It's only three days since my operation. Exactly. And I think it's about time I finally got to see your scar. Get hmm. Oh. Hey. Oh, I see. Now that we're married, all the bad habits start coming out, do they? And this is how the French eat their croissants, actually, mate. Mm. Oh, yeah. That's all right, then, isn't Mmm, wish I could stay here all day. Yeah, me too. But your mum needs us back, doesn't she? Yeah, eh? She was having the time of her life last night. Yeah. <laughs> what were you two doing dancing like that? <laughs> we had a bit of a chat as well, you know. Oh, yeah. Giving you the third degree, was she? Eh? Ari Lane this, Ari Lane that. What's she like? Yeah, I know. One in a million, your mum, is she? that, love. You'll get yourself and the children ready for your day out. Oh, are you sure you won't change your mind and come with us? I'll stop here if you don't mind, love. I'm not much company at the moment. I don't suppose you've heard anything from the police yet? About that Jack Sullivan, you mean? Hmm. Well, I just thought they might have had some news for you. According to that police inspector, they are busy pursuing their inquiries at the moment. But if you ask me, it's a waste of time. He's long gone by now. And how would you feel if the police did catch up with him? I don't know, love. When he first went, oh, I thought my heart would break. All the plans we'd made for the future. But then I got angry, thinking what a fool he'd made of me, running off like that with all my money and my Arthur's pocket watch. You read about it in the papers, don't you, love? Widow lady duped by heartless con man. Because that's what Jack Sullivan is, you know, love. Artless and cruel. But now, I just think to myself, I'm better off without him. I think you're probably right, Julia. As far as I'm concerned, Jack's made his bed. And if he's happy lying on evil and deceit, well, he's welcome to him. Gonna wear that out, Jimmy, the amount of times you've read us. All right, all right. Just trying to picture all them arty farty middle class types picking up their guardians and seeing my gob staring out at them over their muesli. Oh, yeah. The nut and raisin industry could be in decline by now, thanks to you. Love, you might laugh, but the point is, that journal took me dead serious, didn't he? Hmm? I found me voice. Jimmy Corkle's got something to say, and there's people out there who want to hear it. Yeah. Like all them customers wanting a pizza, you're supposed to be opening up for me, aren't you? Love, it won't be long before I'm out of that place. Hey, we've got a baby on the way, or have you forgotten? No, I haven't forgotten. That's part of the reason I'm doing what I'm doing. Why? What are you doing? I'm getting myself an education. We'll see what that little one beckons to having Professor James Corkill BSE as a father. <sighs> I hope that's the accommodation section you're looking at. Dad, we are trying to find another place. Yeah, well, obviously not hard enough. Well, we said we move out of here as soon as we find somewhere else. What more do you want? Right, then. Wish me luck. 
course we do. Go for it, Mum. I feel really nervous all of a sudden. I bet you it'll be a great success. Let's hope so. Look, I'll see you later for the grand opening, and uh, just make sure you're a help, not a hindrance, Dan. Thanks a lot. Right, see you. Bye. Yeah, see you later. Bye, Mum. Oh, Mum's really excited about getting this new deli off the ground. Yes, she is. So I don't want you two spoiling it for her. If nothing else, JC's little outburst the other night proved me right. People around here are outraged by what you're doing. The sooner you two get away from here, the better. For all of us. Yeah, all right, Dad, we get the message. Yeah, well, I hope so. Because apart from anything else, I'm not having Dan thinking that you two are living together with your mothers and my blessing. Can't you just ease up a bit? I won't be for much longer. <sighs> yeah, well, I just want to be away from here as soon as possible. Let's just hope my firm can sort out a transfer. Yeah, that's right. Jenny Swift. Are you going to come and scrub me back? Yeah, hold on. No, no, sorry, not you. So, are you saying that she's still locked up in prison? Uh -huh. Not least for another six months? Yeah, that's sound, mate. Yeah, thanks for your help. Bye. And who was that? That was room service, you know. I thought you were going to come and join me. Yeah, I'm sorry, baby. What? You changed your mind about me already? No, no, it's just, um... What? Come on, Mick, I'm starting to worry now. Look, I'm sorry, Elaine, it's about your mum. But she's decided she doesn't want any more treatment. You what? She told me last night she'd rather take her chances with the cancer than put herself through all sorts down at the Aussie. I do like your new curtsy car, Mrs. Farnham. Very nice shape. Oh, thank you, Julia. Mm. Look at that Jimmy Cork. He'll pass off another man's child as his own. Morning, love. Sure, Jack, you're all right, is she? Why shouldn't she be? You tell her to take it steady. Can't be easy being pregnant at her time of life. I'll pass on your best wishes, shall I? You do that, love. <laughs> I wonder which of the fathers will be present at the birth. <sighs> Which one indeed? Hey, careful you. Save all that energy for the finals tomorrow. Are you coming to watch me play? Yeah, of course I am. Wouldn't miss it for the world. And I wish you were coming to the fire station with us. Yeah, so do I, darling, but poor Daddy's got to go to work. I've got something for you. It says you won't be sad or on your own. Oh, thank you, darling. But you can't open it yet. All right, well, uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll uh, save it for later. Surprise, is it, sweetheart? It's a treasure hunt. <laughs> oh, lovely, Em. Thank you. Come on, let Daddy get to work. You've got to be really clever to work it out. Well, I think I'll need some help. Now, you two be good for your mum, yeah? And I'll see you later. Stuff your mum sells. Um, some of it's all right. I'm just happy with burger and chips, though. I wish my mum would cook stuff like this every night. Oh well, I'd much rather it. Yeah. Don't you just love Italian food? Oh yeah, I wouldn't eat anything else if I had my own way. It makes everything else seem so boring. Eh, uh, hey, Amos, you should be too busy with this to be getting bored. There's all sorts out there needs bringing in. But them boxes are dead heavy, Auntie Cass. I'll bring them in for you. No, you won't. You can leave that and come and give me a hand. Now, please. Cutie calls. Uh, you two getting on all right, then? Yeah. Where shouldn't we be? No reason. Just wondered. Daniel, will you stop daydreaming and bring the cold meats in from the back, please? Right, Belle. I'll leave you to it, love. Thanks for all your help, Ron. Uh, no problem. Let's hope it's the start of a long and prosperous partnership. Thanks. And you don't mind me taking up all this space? I told you, love, you do whatever you feel is necessary. Uh, as long as there's enough room for my stock. Half and half, like we agreed. Ladies, ladies, please. 
Oh, look, we've all got to muck in together from now on, because, well, let's face it, girls, we need this to be a success, don't we? For all our sakes. Nice one, Matt. You do with a few more lads like you in the service. Yeah. You get to drive a fire engine at 100 miles an hour with a shine on, don't you? <laughs> you certainly do, son. As well as risking your life and putting out fires, it's dangerous. Don't worry, Mrs. Farnham. There's loads of time for him to change his mind. <laughs> they usually do. So you're going to be a fireman and all, Emily? No. Oh, well, thank goodness for that. I'm going to be a fire lady. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and who's your little friends for you? The other fireman gave them to me. Oh. I'm going to give them to Daddy. Dad will want a stupid girl, son. You will, won't you, Mummy? As if. Well, I've got one. Keep him in the cab of the tender. See? Can I see him? Of course. You can even sit in your special seat. If that's all right with you. Oh, yes, yes. You come on, Matt. Can I have a little share him? I reckon I can arrange that, Fireman Matt. I'm just fine, I'm sorry, <laughs> She was always the one telling us to get up and get on with it whenever we suffered a knockback, you know, me and Cass. <laughs> She'd send us down the banks if she thought we were feeling sorry for ourselves. And then me and Joe split up. Oh, my mother was always there for us. And when my dad died, right to the end. She was always saying, you and Cass, never stop trying, praying, hoping. Not until your last breath's gone. She's a fighter, my mum, and she always has been. Hey, 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 come on. You've got to be strong for her now, just like she's been for you all these years. But just to sit and watch her die. We can't do that, Mick. She's got to have that treatment. Look, your mum's decided what she's going to do. And you can't make her go through something just to make you feel better. Can you? I didn't think it could be so easy. I know, I can't believe it. A job well away from here and a house thrown in as well. Yeah, well, only for the first six months. I have to find our own place after that. We should have done this ages ago. Yeah, well, it's better late than never. Yeah. Lucy, old cow. Perhaps I should go and ask her if she fancies a menage a toi? No, thank you. I still can't get my head round it. It sounds too good to be true. There must be a catch. To sort of one. What are we going to tell Mum and Dan? Oh, I'm glad I caught you. Don't girl. stop. Because I've just been reading in the Echo about this woman from Eton who had her first baby when she was 48. Julia, I'd love to stop and chat with you, kid. But I've got work to do. Only I thought it would just put your Jackie's mind at rest. You know, with her being past her child there in prime, like, and well. Poor girl's got enough to worry about, as it is. Oh, I. I know you and me have not always seen eye to eye over the years, but I just want you to know that you've gotten right up in my estimation, Jimmy Corkill, sticking with your Jackie through all this. Through all what? Well, there's not many men big enough to take on another fellas. And I just hope that that poor child never finds out who his real father is. Well, I'll make sure it does, because I'll tell it. You will. That baby is mine. Mine and Jackie's. Have you got that, eh? I'm the father. Me. Satisfied? You puffed up old windbag. Or is that not juicy enough for you? Drive. I don't care. I like it best anyway. <laughs> Every engine has a job to do. They're all as important as each other. I'll stop bickering you two. <laughs> what does this do? Press it and see.
with that? As of the job, <laughs> get used to it. <laughs> Rather you than me. You have burgers and chips for that, don't you, Ben? I certainly do. Got to keep our strength up, you know. Can we have burgers and chips on our way home? Please, Mum. Well, all right, just this once. At least we won't have to sit and wait for that bell to go off while we eat them. Yeah, that's when it gets dead exciting. I'm dangerous. But you've got to find the sand to keep you safe, haven't you, Ben? That's right, Emily. He's got a job to do just the same as the rest of us. Jimmy? Oh. Hey, love, all right. <sighs> I was just having a day. It was before I start my shift. Fortify myself for all them wagon tongues. <sighs> They're getting to you, love. Let's just say I could do without it right now. You know the way I'm feeling. I thought it was supposed to be a time for celebration, having a baby. Hey, come on, it is, isn't it? Hey, for you and me. Just have to put the rest of the neighbourhood straight, eh? Oh, easier said than done. <laughs> What are you doing, Emma, this time? Uh, I just uh, popped back for something, you know, while the shop was quiet. You can't just close up in the middle of the day. Mick's left you in charge. Jimmy, we can't afford for you to lose this job. Love, stop worrying with you. I'm not going to lose anything. I told you, I've just come back to sort a few things, that's all. Oh. <laughs> Could get used to this. Yeah, let's change our coffee break for a champers break. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good to me. Right. A toast, if you please, to the newly opened Manor Park Delicatessen. And all who's shopping. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you the sign. Mm. Well done, Belle. Thanks. And to you, Daniel. You've worked really hard on this. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> Let's just hope it's all worth it. Thanks to be told me. Come here, you. Mm. Now, what have I done to deserve that? I'm just preparing myself before I go in and see me, Mum. Yeah. Jack? Oh. Hi, Ron. All right? Yeah, yeah. You? Yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Why shouldn't I be? I just worry about you, that's all. Well, you shouldn't, should you? Fine, honest. Listen, Jack, I know things didn't work out between me and you. Ron, don't. Hear me out, love, please. Okay, you're having Jimmy's baby, but that doesn't mean to say you have to stay with him. He's never gonna change, Jack. Believe me, you're just throwing your life away in a waster. He'll be back into drugs and all kinds before you and the baby are leaving out the Aussie. No, Ron. Not after little Jimmy. Jackie, you're fooling yourself, love. You know you are. You've got to leave him, love, before it's too late. Jackie, listen to me. All I'm saying is just think about it, eh? Yeah, I will. Because you're worth more than that, Jack, so don't just rise up the rest of your life like that, eh? Ron, I'm not. And you know that if you have me, I'm here for you, don't you? I know, Ron, and I'm very grateful. But look, I've got to get away, good I? Jimmy. Oh, my God. <sighs> what are you like, lad? Flaming hell. Just making sure everyone knows what's what, love. I am going to be a father. Not him. Me. Jimmy Corkill. Have you lot all got that, eh? Me. Jimmy. You great soft TV. What's he up to now? What's he doing? <laughs> Another public statement from the looks of things. Take more than a felt tip and a length of sheet to convince me. Do you reckon they've all got the message, love? You, Tiffy. You trying to ruin me street cred or what? Look, give it down, you two. You'll be sick. No, Mummy, you'll be sick after that wine. Oh, well. Come on, then. Hey, Chef. Hi, one. You did not. I think too. No, stop it, you two. Just cut that out. Man, you always think it's a bad I am. No, no, stop it. We've had a lovely day, so don't spoil it. 
really? Come on now. In the car. Stop it! Oh, well, this is a lovely surprise. Thank you, both of you. Oh, we thought you'd be exhausted. You haven't stopped all week. Dad? Thank you. The shop looks great. Yeah, you'll have to come in with me tomorrow. Oh, we can't tomorrow. We've got less to do, haven't we? Going flat hunting? No, um, not exactly. Actually, we've already found a, well, a house to rent. When did that happen? Well, my firm fixed it up for me today. Goes along with the new job. <sighs> what job? I've been given a transfer. We decided to follow J.C. Bradley's advice. George and I are moving right away from Liverpool. But you can't. You can't. Ollie, tell them, please. Mum, it's the only thing that we can do. I know, I know. It just doesn't make it any easier. I don't want you to go. Well, you know how I feel about it. And there's nothing I can do about it. At least I won't have to witness what's going on between the pair of you. For God's sake, Ollie, there are children. Not as far as I'm concerned. If you go ahead with this, I mean live together, then I want nothing more to do with either of you. You can't mean that. I don't accept this. For heaven's sake, what sort of a father are you? Don't you understand? If you're trying to get them to change their minds, you're wasting your time. These are my children, and I love them more than anything. And you don't think I do. So you just dismiss my feelings, my pain, everything I'm going through. Look, this isn't about us, Ollie. All I'm saying is, however they've chosen to live their lives, whatever they've done, the worst thing that could happen is that I should lose them, and that's the one thing I'm not prepared to let happen. Yes, you are, madam. No, I'm coming in the front window. Well, you'll put your seatbelt back on now. No. 